I've seen a few YouTubers make a list and they're not very good. They'll just list any game they can find just for the sake of content. Well, I'm not going to name anyone, but you know who you are. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you the best of the best. So I hope you look at this list and get at least one game from it. Okay, enjoy the vid. In number one, we have West Blockwood. In this game, I can't even cover all the features in this number one spot. They describe themselves as aiming to go far and aiming to provide a realistic experience and they're doing a pretty good job at it. In this game, you could be a garbage truck driver, you can be a firefighter, you could be a cop, you could be, you know, pretty much anything and the game manages to do it whilst having insane features like 3D items on clothing. Cooking, you could cook food on a grill and in your kitchen. You have to apply for jobs in this game, that's how realistic it is. You have to wait for them to reply back, wow. At least in this game, Elite Drip gave me a chance. I mean, I can't say the same for real life. Has it been too good for me? In number two, we have Stanton County, Westlake. And this game, you could do a lot. I mean, you can work at McDonald's, you could grow some illegal substances but it really comes down to the cars and that's what the main focus is on this game in this game you customize your cars make them look like whatever that is there's a drift mode which is really fun because you can do stuff like this you could swerve around you could there's some crazy customization options to your car as well so you can add all this stuff you can add hydraulics apparently which is pretty interesting so check this game out if you love your cars but you also want a good game where you can play as a cop as a criminal and as a civilian a normal civilian working around getting money here comes the money here we go money talks here comes the money in humble number three we've got oratory or the town and in this game you can spend your entire life savings on all the game passes they have and although it doesn't seem like it is it is technically still a roleplay game okay you can join the police department and be hated by pretty much everyone or you can get a normal job in the supermarket stacking boxes but you will get harassed a lot because you're pretty much a victim you can make the blue stuff from the walter mike movie where you can you know grind it out in the basement and make some good money it's a really fun game especially to play with friends so i suggest everyone play it now it's a really good game In number 4 we have Southern Ontario which is probably one of my favourite games on the list. In this game you get air conditioning with different heat settings and you could also, give me a second for this one, this is pretty sick, you could have a truck driver. That's probably one of my favourite features about this game because what are the games that you grind for money as a truck driver with so much detail added, it's pretty sick honestly. And in a game you could be a truck driver, who's surprised you can buy shit on your phone. You can become a cop, obviously, with a really cool system for the MDT. Cruise ships, there are cruise ships, and why not planes as well, fuck it. There are planes, you can fly on planes, I've personally flown a plane, it's sick. And honestly, you can rob stores, you can just do so much, and it's really a shame when I don't see this game on high plays because it's such a good game. Everyone should play this game right now, it's so good. Disclaimer, this game is still a roleplay game, but it's way less serious. So if you want a serious game, I'm about to list some more later. So keep watching for that. In number five, we have Police Sim NYC. And I was playing the whole time in this game. So let me tell you about it. So I spawned in as a cop and I saw the tools are pretty good. I mean, you got tasers, you got guns, but what really stood out to me was the customization of the cars. I mean, you can literally change up anything. You could add whatever you want. I mean, they let me put some big extending things on the top. And then I got into a pursuit, which is really cool because the whole police department decided they wanted to pursue this black car with me. And it was it was just a really interesting event. And I got him, obviously, because, you know, best pursuit driver there is. And another thing I found out is that you could be a criminal in this game as well. I mean, I was in this really nicely decorated base. Yeah, I love those. Love the decoration got on there. And you get your own really inconspicuous criminal van, which no one could ever tell was anything to do with crime. And after that, I got into some crazy chase with a bunch of other Mafia people later on. I killed these two cops and then I went to rob a gas station. And it was just really fun, honestly. This game, although it's from 2017, um, it's just great. I mean, I used to play it all the time, but I forgot a lot about the game. But if you guys really want a fun game to play and you're bored, just hit this game up, give it a chance, and just play it. It's really fun.
Next up, we've got City of Paris, California. In this game, you can do a lot. You can become a cop, you can become a gangster, you can work as well. And if you want to work, there's a bunch of jobs. I mean, I counted like 20. A game has never made making pizzas in a 9 to 5 job so fun. I mean, I think I was here for like 10 minutes just putting together all these pizzas, but it was so fun. Anyway, yeah, I mean, as you can see here, I was arresting people, but what I really found interesting was the gang, the gang culture in this game. There are a lot of gangs in this game, and like, we made our own gang, and it was just really funny. In number 7 we have L.E.P. Gloomwater and I mean apart from having some of the best art design I've ever seen for a Roblox game I found that this game was just made really well like honestly for, for what it is it, it is built amazingly there's different sectors there's a city there's a beach there's a hood there's a normal town district it's just it has everything and one of the best parts of the game is the bank heist that people do you know and, and the, everyone has VC so it just turns into a crazy crazy thing and it's great so you guys should check this game out this is really a cult versus robbers type game so if you're interested in that you'll like this game welcome to deantelin this is probably the nicest game on the list and you know it has a lot of stuff you can do i mean you could smuggle stuff across the big island you could go on a boat and be legal and go and transport goods you can become a pirate and i trust me when i say this it is way more fun than it looks you could bomb the president pretty fun as well or you could just be chill and you can just enjoy the island for what it is but most people don't do that and as you can see here that's me running around trying to duct tape people a pirate there's a pirate you're right there's a pirate god damn it In number 9 we have Broadview County and although this game has been talked about, I don't think people really appreciate how well made this game is. I mean you can piss off the Mafia as I did here, or you can, you know, piss off the cops as this guy did. You can customise your house, you can rob any, pretty much any store, there's really intricate road systems, there's really cool new buildings that have been installed and there's just a lot of new, there's a lot of new updates. You can literally move your furniture around make your house whatever layout you want in what other game lets you do this i mean for all the stuff it offers it is criminally underrated right now so i suggest all of you guys check this out And last but not least we have number 10 society this is probably the most well-known game on this list but what a lot of people don't realize is that this game has really changed since the last time you've probably played it. I mean, I jumped on after not playing for only six months and it's like a whole new game. I mean, it really does feel like 5M, but it has another feel to it. It, it doesn't just feel like 5M, it feels like, an, like a really well-made well, remake of GTA into Roblox. And not a lot of games do that. A lot of games try and copy 5M too much and it just drags away from the fact it's actually on Roblox and it, it just doesn't feel right. I'm telling you guys now, the, the realistic handling in this game is insane and, you know, you're never going to run out of fun. As you can see here, I was drifting around and trying to drive, you know, it's pretty hard to drive, I'll be honest, and I got pulled over by a cop and I ended up going to jail. So, you know, even though I did get sent to jail and I had to spend like five minutes of my life there, well, more like two or three, it's still a good game, okay? And you could do a lot more than this. I mean, I've seen people gun dealing and stuff like that and there's jobs you can work as well so i think you guys should really check this out and see what they're gonna do with it in the future because i think they're gonna end up making the whole of gta anyways thank you guys for watching this video i really enjoyed making it honestly i hope you guys got at least one or two hopefully more games from this list and thank you for watching see you in the next video have a good day